click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends today we will discuss about bitmap indices bitmap indices are generally used as a compressed storage area for the indexing it can be used on a b plus tree first we will know about the structure of a bitmap indices and then see how bitmap indices is used for storing the data and finally we will see that what is existence bitmaps or what are the negative points of having a bitmap finally b plus tree and combined with this b plus tree bitmap can be used or not <music> Bitmap indices as a form of a indices which can be used a particular bitmap that means a value will be mapped to its bit values depending on some conditions till now we have seen the static hashing and the dynamic hashing and also indexing but both of the structures needs one level more indirection that means it will store a large amount of memory just for storing the indices to it either it in a dynamic hashing static hashing or just normal indexing on a multi level basis but now we will introduce another modes of indexing with the help of the value and represent the value in an bit way so whenever there is an occurrence of this value on this bit we will have the record inserted in our bitmap indices so the bitmap indices are generally useful for storing a larger capacity of the storage area into a shorter made of indices so we can point to this indices to the actual value using the representation of the bitmap so if the value is occurring in this information on the file then we can corresponding to the bitmap find it to the bit value that is matching to the information and store it into the indices for future references see for we have an n number of records and we have two categories in our instructor info that we want to store particularly for now we are going to store this gender of the instructor as well as the salary of the instructor now we are making it a group that the gender can either be male or female so the two levels are male and female and for the salary we can make the five levels level 1 for 0 to 10000 level 2 for 10000 to 20000 3 for 30000 to 40000 4 for 40000 to 50000 and 5 for 50000 to infinity so in this way we are making five levels on the salary each grouping from a range of 10000 and then we are making a group of gender that is male and female now we can use for this group a bitmap associated with each value so if there are in records so each of this groups or levels or values will have in bits associated with it so we can say that in the set of bit on in bits we have the ith entry as marked with 1 if there is any record that is present against that attribute on the ith entry on the file so the ith bit will be one if there is any existence on that value in the ith entry on the file so in this way we can create the bitmap indices now for a male and female there will be two bitmaps for two groups there are five levels of salary so there will be five bitmaps each having n bits as the record is containing n records now let us see with an example with an instructor info with five records and then the bitmap with the two in the group and five in the level with five bits in each so here we can see in an instructor table we have this ids associated with gender and salary the first instructor's gender as m other to f other than male and female now we will indicate the salary in only the levels not the values to the salaries because i have leveled the salary from l1 to l5 belonging to the 10000 range from 0 to infinity now we will create the bitmap for this gender and the salary levels
So for mill, as we have talked about, the ith entry will contain the information on the ith record. Now the ith bit, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the 0 entry stands for M. So the first one will go for 1 here. Next is F. That means we have not got any M entry in the second information. So it will go 0. The third 4 is also 0. Fourth one is also M. So I will give an 1 here. And finally F for 0. So this is the 5-bit bitmap for this male gender. Now for the female one, it will be the exact opposite because 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Now for the L1, I have L1 in this one, on the first one. So I will take this one as 1 and other than this, altogether 0. After that for L2, 0. I have one more L1 here, so I will put 1 here, rest of zeros. On L2, we have on this second one. So I will have 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. On L3, we have on this last one. So I will have all the zeros followed by one, 1. On L4, I have on this fourth one. So my fourth one indicates 1. Now we do not have any entry for L5, so it will be 0. Now this is my bitmap representation for this instructor info, just the groups on gender M and F and the salary levels from L1 to L5. Now for searching any on these values, we can just refer to the bitmap and say that how many numbers of male are there, how many numbers of females are there, just by counting the ones and zeros correspondingly to each other that we can have bitmap, so it is essential and very useful for counting the number of a particular attribute in a relation, also searching a particular zone for an relation. Now when see, we are solving an query like, Now the salary level say I want to fetch that who are female by gender and also their salary belongs to 10,000 to 20,000. So we know that 10,000 to 20,000 groups in L2. So we will just write salary L2 here. Now the bitmap are mainly useful for comparing the intersection or binary AND. Now what do you mean by binary AND? That means we can create all the records generated by gender F and all the records generated by L2 and have a an binary AND performed on this one in a bitmap way. Now if we perform in a bitwise AND on this one, we can have the exact result in a less computation time than in the ordinary of this B plus 3 or the static hashing. Now if we compare this one, we have this F bitmap on 01101. And we have for L2 01000. So if we perform AND on this one, we will have 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So this is more like resulting in an OR. Now if we perform an AND, we will have, because AND suggests for everything other than the two of this true, so it will be true. So that is the intersection. So in this intersection, we can see that only in the second column, we can have value one. So by this bitmap representation, we can fetch that the second result. So we will give the second information as our query. So it is very first for the smaller number of the records. And if there are a bigger number of records, like say for 1 million entries, we can have just by 1 8th percent of this 1 million entries as the number of bitmaps for consideration the intersection or binary end. For performing binary OR also, just like if we change this one as OR. So we will have 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, that means the second, third, and fifth one of having gender F or either salary level belonging to L2. So in this way, we can perform an bitwise AND or bitwise OR to have the bitmap as a useful way for comparing data, 
querying it with an extremely first result than this ordered and unordered hashing or indexing. Now one problem with this AND and OR other than that if we want to insert an extra entry into the bitmap we just add one bit to this bitmap just like having one extra entry say for example 604ML5 so now all my bitmap value will go change because for L5 it will be now 0000001 because I have added one in the last one. So we can have all the information and the new bit will be added or appended to the last bitmap. So in this way, it is also useful for enhancing and the dynamic one and also featuring the bitmap indices. Now for the deletion, there is one problem with this bitmap indices. Now if you want to delete an entry, say for an example, I want to delete the L4 entry from this table. So what happens that this aim goal will be 0 and also this L4 will be 0. Now the L4 0 if we make this one as 0 and all 0 like L4 and L5 suggested that the record has been deleted. But is that also suggested that L4 has no entry in this relation. So if it is that L1 we are deleting from there so it will not suggest and support the expiration's of this l1 in the record so we need to have an existence bitmap other than having the bitmap so existence bitmap will support that a record is containing some relation or not if it is containing some value to the attribute so we can put it one in the existence bitmap not the bitmap change will be there on this particular attributes so there is one need for this existing bitmap on the deletion of data and the next need is on this AND and OR. Just like this way, if we perform this bitwise AND and OR on this existing bitmap happening, then if the existing bitmap is first checked, then we can just short it down a more level because we can say that this record can have this attribute or not. So if the record is not belonging to our table, then we can just not check for these values on the comparisons of an AND or NOT. Now the binary NOT cannot be implemented using this bitmap because there is no way to say that the reverse value is an existence bitmap or it is just deleted from the information. So if we got 01101, now 10010. So is this zero referring to this not or it is the deletion of this record from the information. So that is the problem with this existence bitmap introduction. So now we will see that how to introduce existence bitmap. We can maintain an array of 256 entries that will consider as an existence bitmap. Now this 256 entries can easily satisfy all the existence of a 32-bit bitmap as more gen generally have 32-bit properties on it. Now the 256 has continued with this 1 by 8 percentile of this bitmap and now this 256 entries can support up to 1 by 8 of 256 that is 2 to the power 16 which is 65,536 entries which is enough for this existence bitmap of 2 until 1 million entries. So in this way we can use the clever technique to count the number of bitmaps and use it as an existence bitmap. So whenever there is an one that is present in the bitmap for a particular record, we just put one entry into the existing bitmap according to it. Now how to convert and combine the B plus 3 with these bitmaps? Now without this B plus 3, we can have the bitmap only in an 1 by 8 percentile. Now the B plus 3 can have that if there is n entry, so we have to order it that is n squared to 4 entries. So we will consider 4 n entries together to represent the ordered indices. But with bitmaps, if there is n entries, so only one entry will be there for the bitmap. Like for M and F, if there are N values, only one bitmap is represented for M and one bitmap for F. So only N entries are represented for the representation of a particular attribute.
So the compare that is four times that of this B plus three. So in this way, we can combine the bitmaps into the B plus three to actually implement it as an ordered indices also with this bitmap. Now first we will create the bitmap of this indices and then we will use the B plus three as an ordered indices on that B plus on that bitmap to achieve a higher result. So we generally use B plus three along with this bitmap for having a compressed storage area for indices and also have all the features of an ordered indices. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.